So what did you tell Wilma? I gave her a firm, definite, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. I was firm, too. Hey, look up in the sky, Fred. What is it? I don't know. Wow, that was close. Grab a shovel out of the back. Let's see what it is. Right. <laughs> Careful, clumsy. You're not planting potatoes, you know. Uh, Barney, that, that, that sounds like a human voice. Very good. You go to the head of the class. But first, get me out of here. Give me a hand, Barn. Find the blue spoke. There's a blue spoke. Yeah, yeah, right here. Now, under it is a red latch. See it? Uh, here. Fine. Now open the latch. Now press the orange button and stand back. Right. Stand back, Barney. Ah, fresh air. It got a bit stuffy in there, you know. Now then, I suppose the usual amenities are in order. I am the great Gazoo, the former headmaster scientist on planet Zetots. Uh, the witch on what? The planet Z... Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, where they put me, where am I? Yeah, 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 you're in uh, bedrock. I don't mean the location. What year am I in? 14th century? 15th? Where? Hey, do you understand a word he's saying, Fred? No. But humor him, he may be dangerous. <laughs> no, it can't be. Look, I can't believe it. It looks like a... I'll have to take a closer look. Did you see that, Fred? He, he stopped them right in his tracks. It is a prehistoric mastodon. They've sent me all the way back to the Stone Age. <laughs> That's not fair. Yesterday, I was the most brilliant scientist in all of Zatox. And today, simply because of one tiny invention I have been conspired against, locked in my very own time capsule and sent here to start all over again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the tiny invention? It was a little button no bigger than your fingernail. But if you pressed it, Zam! Zam? Zam. Everyone and everything in the universe would go in one multi-glorious, instantaneous disintegration. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't look so worried. I never intended to use it. The October 1965 Flintstones episode that introduced the Great Gazoo was written by this human female who, in 1957, portrayed the iconic extraterrestrial named Thana. Let's see what she witnessed and what she had to say. Explode the sunlight here and a chain reaction will occur direct to the sun itself and to all the planets that sunlight touches, to every planet in the universe. Zen! Shining photons on the implied subject of antimatter, can you address the reality versus the fiction in the comments below? Let's start with this idea of light travel, shall we? What can you tell us about that? Absolutely nothing. If I told you, you'd blow yourselves up. Or worse, someone else. You'd be surprised how much energy is in a beam of light. This is why you must be stopped. This is why any means must be used to stop you. In a friendly manner. Or as it seems, you want it. He's mad. Mad? Is it mad that you destroy other people to save yourselves? You have done this. Is it mad that one country must destroy another to save themselves? You have also done this. How then is it mad that one planet must destroy another who threatens the very existence? That's enough! I was firm too. 